Welcome everyone to Gamer Mill. Today I've got two really interesting stories, so let's just get right into it. First up, it looks like Nvidia's RTX cards may soon become obsolete. In a recent demo by Crytek, the company behind the ever-famous Can It Run Crisis meme unveiled a demo that demonstrates real-time ray tracing using a, get this, Vega 56. So yeah, we're talking current gen tech without any special cores or features, and in the video they outright state that this works on most mainstream AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. In the demo, its primary focus is on reflections versus the reflections and shadows seen in Nvidia's RTX demos, but it honestly looks amazing. Now, it didn't tell us much more, like how many rays are actually used in real time, how it compares to Nvidia's RTX, FPS, etc. But the fact it doesn't require proprietary hardware is a huge step forward. With that said, there is a small caveat. It's made for their CryEngine 5 gaming engine, so any games that plan to utilize it have to use that engine. But that's really not the thing. It's the fact that it shows it can be done, that real-time ray tracing can be implemented on any relatively competent hardware and it may force other engines to implement something similar. Of course, because Nvidia was more or less first to really push it in the gaming world, some engines have signed on to support their RTX technology, but it doesn't mean they can't implement something of their own later. Basically, without serious hardware limitations holding it back, real-time ray tracing has a much bigger potential for implementation moving forward. Unfortunately, that could also mean the expensive card you just bought specifically for Nvidia's RTX could seriously become obsolete, at least the feature you basically paid extra for. With that said, you won't be paying extra for something that's far more important, true privacy and protection. I'm talking no data logs and diamond encryption, which you can get with a 30-day money-back guarantee from today's sponsor, Surfshark, the only VPN that offers unlimited devices from one account. So protect your entire family's PCs, phones, and tablets for just $1.99 a month by visiting surfshark.com slash gamermeld or the link in the description. Lastly, Navi has been one of the most anticipated GPU architectures I've ever seen. One of the reasons, I think, is that many still believe it won't be a monolithic die, but multiple GPUs combined via the Infinity Fabric, so AMD can do something similar in the GPU world that they did to CPUs two years ago. Unfortunately, a little while back, the company confirmed that simply isn't the case. They've had a tough time doing it since systems like Windows aren't built to recognize it like they are CPUs. With that said, it doesn't mean we shouldn't look forward to Navi. While it won't be the first 7 nanometer gaming GPU, it will be the first architecture built around it. And while some have lost hope, thanks to AMD's lackluster Radeon 7 release, there's still a ton of users excited to see a real successor to AMD's RX 480. Well, today I've got an exclusive on what's going on. And while I can't give specifics on my source, I can absolutely say that it comes from a board partner. According to them, just like Nvidia, AMD has an overstock of GPUs from the cryptocurrency crash. And that's why you're seeing a ton of deals along with the recent RX 560 XT announcement. Unfortunately, also according to them, AMD might actually delay Navi. Now, obviously we don't know that for sure, but from them, it's a possibility. With that said, WCCF Tech's most recent exclusive makes me somewhat hopeful, since I spoke with my source before they reported on AMD going ahead and declaring it one month after their third gen Ryzen release. Basically, even now, cryptocurrencies are having an effect on the market long after their massive drop off. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Navi? And what do you think of the demo? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.